Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a review of Invisible Girl by Lisa Jewell. This is my third Lisa Jewell at the time of filming this. Uh, if I had to rank them, this one would be my second favorite behind Then She Was Gone, which I highly recommend. Um, this book is a multiple perspective mystery thriller novel and it's out October 13th. The basic plot of this story is the disappearance of a teenage girl named Sapphire. Uh, again, like I said, we have multiple points of view and we know that Sapphire has disappeared. So basically in this novel, we go back to before, just before her disappearance and we're following the different characters in the events that lead up to her going missing. So Sapphire is one of the points of view that we're following. She's 17 years old, she lives with her grandfather and her uncle because she her parents have passed away in previous years and she is a loner she likes to read she doesn't she has friends but she doesn't feel like they're really close friends um she just spends her time at home uh she likes to be outside and in nature she's just like a solitary type of person sapphire has a past of abuse and she has seen a psychologist in the past to help her overcome the trauma of the abuse. Kate is another perspective we're following. She is a work from home, stay at home mom to two teenage children. And her husband, Roan, is a child psychologist who uh, was Sapphire's psychologist years previous when she was going through therapy. Um, Kate knows or has suspected that her husband has had affairs in the past she believes he's having one now she's just super suspicious of him and it's hard to trust him because of all these suspicions she's had over the years the other perspective that we're following is owen and he is a teacher a college professor um and he's accused of inappropriate behavior in the classroom like inappropriate comments and then inappropriate behavior at uh student teacher christmas parties um he swears up and down that you know he hasn't done any of these things that he's accused of um and that he is uh not someone to be aggressive or forward with women because he is celibate um he refers to himself as an incel and so we're following him as he is going through being accused of things by his students um, but also there are sex crimes sex attacks uh, happening in the neighborhood surrounding where all these people live um, people like women are being like randomly like groped while they're walking the streets by some guy and they don't know who it is he's covered up and they can't identify him so while these attacks are going on um people kate specifically and her daughter and are like suspicious of owen who lives across the street from them so he owen's getting all tied up and um being accused of these sex crimes because he's strange and then also it doesn't look good because he's just recently been accused by his students as being inappropriate um so we're following these three people and i really like how Lisa Jewell just combines them and starts to put together the pieces of how they are all interconnected, how their lives are interconnected. For example, Sapphire being uh, Kate's husband's patient. Uh, I hope I'm making sense with all these details. Um, but she, Lisa Jewell is really good at keeping you guessing. Like I knew obviously somehow someone within this storyline needs to be the reason for Sapphire's disappearance. Whether it's like a main point of view that we're following or it's like someone on the side that we meet through these main characters. It was definitely a fast read. It was a compelling read. If you like Lisa Jewell, this one is great. Um, I, I want to read more from Lisa Jewell. Uh, there, I was kind of disappointed with the family upstairs, but she has, I hate saying she has a ton of potential because she's been around for a while. Um, and she's written plenty of books but i i think she is a great weaver of tales um connecting different threads it's very entertaining and i love when a mystery novel keeps you guessing and 
jumping from the different points of view it's like she leaves little uh little details and little hints and you you want to figure out where that information will play into later on in the novel i ended up giving this a four four and a half out of five um there wasn't like too much to really complain about mostly my rating is based on a comparison of other mystery thriller novels that have given five stars and what was my enjoyment level so i still think even though no it's not five stars for me it is a solid mystery thriller highly recommend it especially if you're a lisa jewel fan i think it's really one to look forward to put it on hold at your library pre-order it whatever um i am so glad that i got an e-arc of it because it was just it was so entertaining and just so much fun and uh yeah i'm filming this and i've read it kind of in my midst of my big horror kick that i'm on um so it was nice to have uh something that wasn't depth like that i wasn't in the mood for at the time be so interesting and compelling if you're watching this after the book was released let me know how you felt about it if you've already read it just let me know in the comments below watch out for spoilers warn others if you're going to be spoiling thank you for watching and i will see you in my next video